Do I have schizophrenia? Do I have schizophrenia? How do I know? I realized I don't need to make a long, elaborate, fancy video. People want to look at my videos. I should make more of them. It's easy. So I wondered, I looked into my channel analytics on the YouTube studio console. I see in the last 90 days, there were 1,800 unique viewers. See them here coming in day by day, week by week. Five new subscribers in the last 90 days. Hopefully you're watching. This video's right for you. <laughs> If I keep scrolling down this, I see there, this is notable. Most of these views of the 1800, 92% were not subscribed. That's most of the views out of those 1800. It looks like the specified or whatever gender was 100% male, with 100% being 18 to 24 years old. Do I have schizophrenia? Do I have schizophrenia? How do I know? It's funny that ringtone, that's my friend who has a diagnosis of schizophrenia. Um, just happens to be that he's calling right on time like he usually does because we're persistent in the way we think. That's one of the things I know about how I knew I have schizophrenia. See these 100% male, 18 to 24 years of age, 100% searching. When I was 17, 18, I stumbled across the term schizophrenia on the internet. It was like late 90s, early 2000s, something like that. Very early of the global internet. So I was reading people older than myself describing their experience of schizophrenia. And I read about it. I was able to read more about it. When I went and saw my doctor for the first time, my first psychiatrist doctor, I showed my journal, which I had been scrawling loopy, weird notes in for the last couple of years, and I showed it to my doctor. She took it from me. She opened it up, two pages. She closed the book. I don't think she read a single word. She looked at the shape and arrangement of the word salad. She knew I was hyperactive and had strange ideas, and she said, yeah, I think your idea that you have schizophrenia makes sense. That's what I'm going to diagnose you with. <laughs> so a lot of people have an idea that something's wrong. They have an idea that they're suffering, that they're confused, that they're lost, that they want something that they cannot find a way to have. Um, yeah, so out of this... 1,800 on my channel that I haven't uploaded a new video in a long time. There's a lot of specified males with specified ages of 18 to 24 years of age watching. A lot of them from the United States, 28.6%. Um, yeah, schizophrenia and psychosis and bipolar disorder affect about one or two in a hundred. And yeah, um, there are billions of us on the planet. So there are millions of people who would be diagnosable with schizophrenia, perhaps. Um, yeah, that's a lot of people. I've heard doctors describe it as the hardest disease because for those millions of people, two or three 
out of five will almost die by suicide. One out of five is likely to die by suicide. There's almost no other diseases I can think of that has that kind of actual impact. Like, the, like lots of other diseases are hard. That's not what I'm saying. But 20%, 40%, 60%, that's scary, right? So if you're an 18 to 24 year old young man, reach out, look for help, ask a doctor, ask your friend, talk to people. That's, I think, what saved my life pretty much. I walked into the doctor's office thinking, I needed help. I need. I did need help. I wanted help. I wanted assistance. I wanted support. And yeah. So, good luck, young guys. Wow.